So the numbers are in, and the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight from last Friday night, in my case, early Saturday morning, uh, drew in 60 million households to watch the main event. Now, I don't know how many of you got to see the entire eight-round match because many of us, myself included, um, had issues with Netflix. I just didn't have buffering issues. I had issues with the app crashing on my Apple TV. In fact, not only did it crash on my Apple TV, I even got up my iPad, fired up Netflix on my iPad, and it crashed on my iPad too. So it just wasn't buffering. Now, needless to say, I was one that was hoping that Mike Tyson would knock his block off. Um, bit of nostalgia because I grew up watching Mike Tyson fight. And what I saw was a 58-year-old man who had no legs left, who couldn't move in the ring. Um, and suffice it to say, it was, it was pretty sad to see. But results aside, what I'm more worried about is Netflix doing live events. This isn't the first time they've done a live event and have had things go, shall I say, sideways um there was an event they did and this is from newsweek it was love is blind live reunion where they had some of the same issues with buffering and bandwidth and you know they have about a little over a month to figure out those issues because they've got two nfl games being broadcast live on Netflix on Christmas Day. And I can tell you with the utmost certainty, they thought the outcry was bad about the buffering Friday night during the fights, especially the women's bout. That's when my issue started was during the women's bout, which by the way was the best fight on the card. And uh, Serrano did get robbed in that fight. But if Netflix doesn't figure this out by the two NFL games on Christmas Day, they are going to be in a world of hurt. If you've ever watched an Amazon Thursday night game, yeah, there's sometimes some issues with the picture and, and, and whatnot, but they, they pretty much have cured their issues as far as bandwidth and buffering. Netflix better get it figured out before Christmas Day. They also better get it figured out before... Um, WWE Monday Night Raw premieres in January. Because wrestling fans ain't gonna put up with it. So according to this article here at the Sports Business Journal, Netflix taking optimistic view of Paul Tyson's streaming issues. So they go into saying, you know, the card drew 72,000 people at AT&T Stadium. Great. 65 million concurrent streams globally during the main event. Great. Um, goes into the sponsorship stuff. Stuff that Jake Paul was doing. This article here from Newsweek. Uh, the highly anticipated bout was one of the most watched live events of the year. However, it was plagued with a ton of buffering connectivity issues. Yep. Dave Portnoy posted over on X. I'm in the classic torture chamber where I can't tell if my internet keeps going out or whether Netflix is just consistently buffering and unwatchable for everybody. Yeah, it was, an it was unwatchable. And again, not just during the main event, but even the women's match, the co-main event is when I started having issues myself. Um, they talked to WWE, who's been assured that the issues will be kept to a minimum with Raw. I don't know how much confidence I have in that statement. Um, one higher up said that if they were ever doing the type of traffic Mike Tyson and Jake Paul were doing, that would be a good problem to have. Then they go into the Love is Blind reunion issues that they had. So, I mean, good for Netflix. They had 60 million views, 65 million concurrent. But man, get those issues fixed with your live streaming. 
I mean, the whole the whole package was not good. From the the pre match show at the at the desk there that was not very good in my opinion. Um, I love Mauro Ranello doing boxing. I didn't know Rosie Perez did boxing. I, I had no idea. I had no idea she was a color commentator for boxing. And um, who's that? Roy Jones Jr. was also doing the the other com color commentary. I mean, I love Mauro Ranello. The other two, <laughs> not so much, especially when I hear he's got no legs, his legs, his legs are shot, his legs, he's got no legs, he can't move. I heard that so many times during that fight. Just, oh. But what do you guys make of it? Do you think Netflix is going to get their stuff fixed before Christmas Day and the two NFL games on Christmas Day? Comment in the comment section down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys.